Hey, it's Alejandro Duarte from Vadin, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use JUnit with Vadin. So, for that we're going to use this very simple application that I developed in a previous video. And also this is the continuation of a series of videos on uh, testing. So, check the description of this video if you want to learn more about the other ones. Alright, so... Uh, the implementation of this view is over here. A button view with date picker, a button, and then we are using a service that, by the way, we already tested in a previous video. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, test that this uh, uh, view kind of works. So, before we do that, uh, I want to point out that if we have a null date here and we click the button we might get some errors some exceptions null pointer exceptions because we are not checking that so let me first try to fix that okay so if date is null then we're going to show an error else we're going to show the h and this one is pretty simple because we have it here already as is and for this one we are going to show a notification that says please enter a date that's it yeah now we just introduced some changes here we might have introduced bugs as well but we are going to use unit tests to kind of gain confidence that this works as expected and so for that we are going to uh, first fix this bug that we have here and here of course we need to pass that right and now we can go ahead with the unit test so this is the main view and this is a unit test so that's the reason we have to use this remember that cool now what do we want to test here we want to test this behavior if you think about it this is like the presenter in a model view presenter pattern just in the same class there's nothing about that in here so that means we can uh, use the unit to test this right how can we do that you might think that, that uh, well let's first uh, create the, the the actual method so should uh, show error on no date right that's what we are going to uh, to test so you might think that we want to we, we can't create a new instance of this like that but the problem with this is that first you need to pass the h service so you will have to new h service over here and if you do that then later you don't really know if the problem is in this class or in this class if the uh, test fails it's at test here right so you, you can be sure that it's actually inside this class even how can we solve that well one way is to uh, kind of override this method here and return always I don't know any number it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter so we know this is not going to fail okay failing here in this context means uh, throwing to throw an exception so we know this that's not going to happen so and I, we don't really care what what's the number that's not what we are testing here we are testing only that it shows an error if it's a null date so okay we've, we we solved that issue but we are still testing or calling all these methods so we are not interested in that because we're going to call we, we, we are going to test only this method 
and this in, in turn uh, calls the show error and show age method so we don't want to test these lines of code at all how can we do that so this is really not an option right now yeah we could override those but still it's a lot of uh, of code so because of that there are frameworks for a unit or for unit testing that allows you to simplify this so my favorite one is called Mokido and so I'm going to add it to the pom.xml thing let's use this one so it should be here and after adding test bench which I'm going to cover in a future video we can add the Mokido dependency with the test scope test because we only need it here not there okay cool so um, this is what we don't want so Mokido allows us to create a mock a mock is a uh, um, class that uh, has the same shape of this but it's not that so it's as you can see we can assign that to to a main view object but it's not this code it, it really is not and to prove that we're going to uh, let's call the method here main view dot think this should be maybe protected so I can call it there uh, I'm not going to go through the discussion whether this is a good thing to do or not to make it protected I do think that in this case it, it, it makes sense because if you want to extend this class it makes sense to uh, probably uh, or, or maybe that subclass might want to change the behavior on these all these methods actually but anyway uh, this is that we can call the uh, the methods in the test because they are in the same package okay so uh, I think it's calculate age we are interested in the null value so let's place a breakpoint here and run this uh, this test so since this is a mock it's not really this this code here then it's not going to stop here so let's check that that's the the case i'm not sure if i run this in the, in the debug debug mode let's do it like this and so okay let's wait yeah so it finished it didn't stop here so that means this is not this instance is not really this code over here now that's good because we don't want to call for example that one I can show you that this it, it doesn't stop here either if I run the test uh, and so that's good because we don't we really don't want to call all that uh, code there you go so it's it's uh, done and it didn't stop here so that's pretty good but we do want to call this we really want to call this method so how can we do that well with Makito you can uh, convert kind of transform this mock into a, a stop so do call real method when main view that calculate age on null right so if we call this method let's put it here and we pass null which is the case then it's going to stop over there now i'll show you something real uh really cool about it also 
uh, is that, for example, this doesn't really matter. So you can tell Mokido to use any any object. This is an alias of this. I do prefer the any object. And also you can use starting ports here and uh, there and even here to simplify everything. Okay. So do call real method when main view that calculate h on any object. So now it is go it is uh, going to uh, stop here. So let's try that out. Debug mode. So if it stops there. Now it's going to execute these lines. What do you think is going to happen if I put some breakpoints here? Do you think it's going to be called? Let's check that out. So I think continue is this one. Nope, it didn't. It didn't stop. That's exactly what we want. So we're calling only these lines of code because a unit test should test only one single piece of code, in this case, this method. So that's exactly what we want, and that's what uh, Mokido allows us to do. However, we do need to uh, test whether this was uh, called the uh, show error method. How can we do that? Well, it's not a surprise that Mokido has a verify method that does exactly that show error so we are verifying that main that view that show error was called okay so let's go ahead and run or actually let's say there is a bug in the code and so we if we run this test we don't need the breakpoints anymore so i'm going to run it in normal let's say mode So it failed and it says it was wanted but not invoked. So which one show error it wasn't invoked. And as always we can go there and see what happened. Which one? Let's do a static import here by the way. Let's so verify the main view to show error. And uh, so the way I organize the codes that this kind of configuration this is what I'm, I'm actually uh, uh, what I actually care about. So calculate h didn't call this. Okay, let's go there. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, I have a bug here. Let's try again. And this time it should work. There we go. So it works. Now we might want to also test that uh, main view is uh, never uh, that main view never invokes show h and again on again on any object because we don't want that and since we are also testing that kind of make sense makes sense to uh, change this one so show should show error and no age on null date more descriptive right so let's try that out or actually let's do it uh, like before so what if it if it uh if it's uh, calling the show age method which is something we don't want then this should fail. There we go. And it says uh, main view show h with any value is not wanted here. Yeah. It's not wanted. So we can go ahead and fix the bug run it again and this time it should pass so uh, that's what uh, 
framework like uh, Macedo allows you to do. Uh, you kind of isolate the code that you want to to test. In this case, this one. We are not calling the constructor. We are not calling the uh, show error method, show age. We are not interested. We can test whether those methods were called, but we are not calling those methods. And also, we are not testing other classes. So um, that's the value of this kind of frameworks. It really simplifies everything, and you can read again everything like uh, a plain English, right? So um, I think that was the idea of this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do something more, something that involves more parts of the program. It's called integration tests uh, using a um, test bench, writing test bench. So stay tuned, and um, I guess I'll see you in the next video.